I am doing a little blurb on paper piecing. And um, my paper piecing classes, I'm trying to do one a month. And I'm trying to get a little more sophisticated with the paper piecing. So we just had 21 people join in doing the Christmas Cardinal. It was very popular and it was, it was a wonderful class, if I do say so myself. <laughs> um, right now we're working on the Valentine Rose. And I don't have the sample done because I'm in the process of making it with the ladies. Um, just recently we had an in-person class in Williamsville and I have a Zoom class coming up. If you're interested in doing this, just you know, sign up so that I can get the pattern to you. It's a very pretty pattern. You can do it in a small size, which is like seven by five, or you can do it in a size that is more like eight by 10. So you've got two sizes. In March, we're gonna do a daffodil that looks like so, and it looks easy. But each one of these, um, they come with their own little challenge. I'm not going to say it's real hard. I'm going to say that if you've been playing around with paper piecing, you will do this just fine. In April, we're going to do this family tree, they call it. And I think in the pattern, it actually shows you how you could maybe write names on the hearts in the family tree. This will be a little more sophisticated, but I think that you can do it, or I wouldn't be do offering it as a class. So the three classes that are coming up, and then I'll see how they go, and we'll see whether we continue them across the summertime. Okay? So that's my paper piece. <laughs>